out to you all car fabricators and all the other species of human race. So little update here from the project is that uh, I didn't make it till the European finals which is too bad and I had to go there with uh, unfinished installations. But yeah that one took us till the fourth place which I was really surprised and it was that good. But it didn't feel like I really succeeded somewhere because I still wasn't happy by myself because uh, I know these, all these devices and the sound system can go much further. So that one is the thing we are getting to go into improve right now, besides the installations of course. So let's get into the installation part what I will do better for this time. Ah, not that soon, fellows, because first we're gonna have some little fun with it. The overall shape I got here and the body language of the dashboard is I'm really happy with it. It's a uh, it's nice. It fits in a car. It's uh, it's not too heavy if you know what I mean, like the last one was. And uh, but the problems here is the first one I noticed is the the panel which I was uh, designing for the coaches. Uh, I can't fit there. I can I, I mean I I can't get a good fit there because of the structure of this middle console here and it's always nice to notice that kind of things when you are almost there it's almost ready and then you face this problem and you can make it uh, but the, this bow here is uh, it's a really good one and I will I will keep it like the the overall shape for the new new design is about the same Maybe one of the biggest changes is uh, uh, the, uh, the ones you will see is that I will uh, curve this this curve here. I, I will have to put it a little bit near, a little bit down because it's coming like five centimeter, almost five centimeters on the on the window, but it's still inside the the view rule of Emma installation chat's book. It's not too high in that case, but uh, it's a pretty. Uh, it looks ugly from the from the windshield if you look from outside, because it's that high and you have a, that kind of cap there. And now I just have a piece of carpet there. So that's one of the improving points that I will make here. So put it down and make a good looking bow there on the windshield so it comes nicely like like really integrated to the car itself that's a good uh i mean that's a well let's say these are the main points here but what happens inside is for example the subwoofer box is a bit too small i'll make it bigger and we also utilize these Put in the door like a like using fiberglass to make a shape there and then make straight I mean like this way straight angles here so it will be much easier to build this whole thing because now uh, I started with the the nozzle part in the middle and that didn't go exactly straight after I try to put it because there's no any points to fix it or fasten it if, if it's a better way to say so for this one uh, I will start building the airbag box 
because there I have the fastening points and I can make it all with straight angles and that way it's, it will be so much easier to make the whole thing in line. And now, also this made of three main pieces, like this subwoofer side, uh, driver side, uh, what the hell, passenger side part, which includes the subwoofer box and the mid-range box and of course the airbag box. So that's one part. Then I have the driver's side part where I have just the, the box for the mid-ranges. And of course, under this panel, actually this panel is a really good one, I like it, but it's just the cover for the unfinished installation for the Siemens PLC touchscreen. So that one will find this place there where it should be. So this side is much lighter in that way and there won't be not any critical changes here except of course this edge line here it will be following the door exactly. And also I can uh, utilize from this side to make the structures here to be in the same line. And I have also all the fastening points here it should be pretty easy. Uh, and then the middle part that has all the structures for the holding the panels and I mean the head unit panels and so on, the nozzles and the coaches stand. And it also includes these cheeks here. But uh, I guess this should be made different way. And like I said, I would start with the airbag box and I because last time I started with the nozzles in the middle, but for this one I guess it's much better to leave it one of the last things. Because that part can be easily fixed on the edges here. And also I can give up with this, because uh, here are two plates next to each other. There's the left side plate of the passenger side module, and the right side plate for the middle console. This right side plate for middle console is kind of useless. It's just wasting wasting space and using material. So like especially on the downside here, I could I could utilize that volume that is now taken. If I remove it, I can use it for the subwoofer box. So I can get more liters. Also I can get more liters from the right side if when the panel is following the door panel. So I could make like three, four liters extra, which is, would be a really good one. And then I was uh, thinking to do a liftable, like this way, liftable middle console front panels here where the tablet would be, revealing the CD player behind it. But it's uh, pretty difficult to integrate all the forms together and it's still movable. So I think uh, I will change the installation for the tablet a bit. But it would be like, a, I'll try to make it with slight effect, with, uh, I mean the slight function and magnets. I can, I can slide it a little bit left and then I could be able to twist it and take it out. And for that one, I could also use that the head unit would be behind it. Um, I mean, the CD player would be behind it. it re it's really, really quick to change. It looks good and just fun. Maybe not as fun as the linear motor raceable lift here. But maybe it's better to not to try too difficult things. And then uh, I could also use in the in, in the the PLC inputs for something else than the lift itself, or I can use the lift somewhere else. Maybe who knows? If I can come up with something nice ideas. So, and then the top part, I could also make. Uh, uh, I mean, I should make the coach's panel first, and then form this hood for it. 
and then it fits seamlessly and it should be looking really good. The, also, uh, the overall shape of this hood is really good and I will do it again, like in the same way, because uh, it's, it's very close to the Volvo original forms, especially with the newer models than this one, and it's also a lot of same thing, the same kind of body language as the, the model of this car itself. So, maybe that's it, and so let's start with taking the module out and try to build the new airbag box for it. Here I have a rough cut copy of the blade of the this uh, passenger, passenger side module. And I made it a bit bigger because so I have a little space there to work with it. And now I should take the final form of it for the for the curve here. And I'm gonna be using this adjustable curve just because I have some ready templates there, but uh, no, none of them fit perfectly, so this one is a good tool for it to make it exactly what I want. So I, I tried it already a few times, so it should be pretty good now. So let's see. Put that end just there. And maybe I could take it a little bit higher. Like this, and yeah, there. That looks really good. It comes a bit uh, like uh, 20 millimeters down from the windshield side, which is pretty much perfect. I can use like a 18, 19 millimeter MDF to make the final curved cover for it. And uh, yeah, so I, I should take this form now, and then I can make these back plate and front, uh, this downside plate here to make the airbag box ready. And also I can copy this form on, on the right side of the back too. perfectly so it's a from the here it's the same place than the old one but in the end it comes like 10, 10 millimeter lower that's good it's really good and from here it comes sl slightly higher like from 10 to 15 millimeters up here and here it meets the old form again that's really good uh, I didn't touch the lower part yet because we will have the mold taken from the door panel still and that one determines the the final form which is gonna be so now it's very easy to put here the down blade and the back blades and fix them in oh, then and it will also make this right side panel here copying this one till the certain point up here mm -hmm. 